Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. And um, you know, we're kind of new at this, so all the edits and stuff is not pretty up to date yet. We're gonna get there. But go ahead, babe, take it away. Okay, so for you, those of you guys who don't know, we're making this channel because we're having a baby. And a lot of you know already, but for those of you that don't know, it's not me having the baby. It's her. <laughs> so the reason we're making this channel is just to let you guys know how we did it, basically. Yeah, and you yeah. can follow us on our journey of me carrying a baby, see how it's gonna go, and you know, everything like that. Um, first, we're gonna go into a little bit on how it came up that I'm gonna carry. You know, I always wanted a kid, I raised a lot of children. I went through a lot of people taking their, thing, um, their children from me. So I, when I met her, I was like, hey, listen, I want a baby. What'd you say? I'm fine with that. I wanted a baby since yeah. I was like 15. So that was no problem was like, me. let's start. And I was <laughs> like, really? Okay, dope. Let's start. We started. Um, not too long after, we found somebody that was very genuine and dedicated to helping us. And... Steven. I don't know if he wanted us to shout him out, so we'll do that later if yeah, that's okay with him. Later on, we'll let him be known if that's okay with him. We'll discuss that. But he was very genuine and helpful. He was very, he said it was his good deed to God. So <laughs> he was very helpful, and I'm thankful that he didn't want anything else. He just wanted to help us conceive. And mm -hmm. if y'all don't know, after the baby's born, and we get a little further on, Rochelle's gonna carry. Um, but we're gonna get into what we used and how we did it. Are you gonna show them your belly? Later. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insemination rod. It's for animals, but I'm telling you guys, it actually helped me. Nails. It really helped. But he would give his donation, and Rochelle would hold it in a nice warm spot i would keep it warm whether in between my legs or for 10 minutes <laughs> for 10 minutes and while she did that for 10 minutes i propped myself up pillows uh we used two pillows and i used like the headboard of the bed also to raise me up and we used this afterwards this is a soft cup the soft cup didn't go in until literally after so after the 10 minutes of me being propped up I put the rod in. I'm going to open it so you guys could get a better look at it. You put the rod in and it attaches literally onto the uh, syringe. So she took all of the donation within the syringe from the cup. <laughs> and slowly, Don't she like basically, well, we didn't do that. <laughs> we just lifted it up. And when she put it in there, slowly we inserted it in show them how you inserted it um, i'm not gonna show them that <laughs> <but I'm playing. laughs> we did that and after we was finished putting the donation in i immediately put the cup in i left the cup in for six hours one day it depended on how many donations if it was two donations for six hours and if it was one i left it in for an entire 12 hours so the cup is pretty easy you hold it like an eight a lot of people struggle putting the cup in and it's not that bad. Once you get the cup all the way in after the eight, you lift up the bottom part to go above Show them. your wall. Like, That's yeah. what I'm showing them. It goes <laughs> above the wall. Some people don't know. Once it hits up that wall, you won't realize the cup is there. And same way of getting it out, just grab it out. It's pretty easy. Yucky, but it's easy. Um, but while the cup was in, once everything was done and we placed the cup in, big word, orgasm. <laughs> It's, I know it sounds a little, but that that helped. Did an orgasm, and I stayed in there with my legs up for maybe 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you what I think, because a friend of mine gave us a tip that when she <laughs> got pregnant with her daughter, what she did was do a handstand for about 10 minutes after. So one of the times, I held her legs up. Which for, is uncomfortable. Yeah, so I kind of had her legs like this and was holding her up from her legs for about 10 minutes. I think that's what got her pregnant. And then a couple of like weeks later, Yelena. Yelena came in and we're going to let her tell you a little bit. Come here, hurry up. Come on. Remember when my stomach was hot? What did you say? I said you having a baby. She told me I was having a baby. 
And who told you that I was having a baby? Jesus. <laughs> she, said, she, she told me Jesus, if y'all didn't understand. She told me <laughs> Jesus told her that I was having a baby what? That I was a baby brother. She told me that I was having a baby boy. <laughs> so um, I kind of got a little nervous. And it was that Friday, then that Sunday, which was Easter Sunday. I was like, I'm going to take the test, even though it's probably too early. And I'm going to surprise Rochelle. I ended up taking the test and got the faintest positive ever, but I knew I wasn't bugging out. I'm like, babe, babe, look. Yeah. And she's like, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I then sent it to my parents, they didn't see it. I sent it to like, everybody, they're like, my dad. I seen, seen it me. after I looked at it for a while. I was like, okay, I see it. But we had had tests that kind of looked like you could see something yeah, before. Had a lot of, and uh, they, no. <laughs> negatives, and I would get so discouraged. So this time it was like, I wasn't trying to test as much. But once I got that little faint positive, I knew from well, that moment on. The next day, I took another one, and it got darker. And then that's when she was in belief, like, oh, we're having a baby. <laughs> so. Who was crying. Yeah, it was very emotional. She was mostly crying. I was, yes. I was excited. <laughs> I've been wanting this for years, so it was like a blessing. Um, but we're going to do another channel, another page soon on. We're going to have a gender reveal on in July. So we're going to also film that. But before that, we're going to do a lot of at home gender reveal things like the home ones to see if it works so we'll do those on our next video and then we'll film our gender reveal so you want to end us out yes go ahead <laughs> so thank you for watching thank you for watching see you soon see you soon don't forget guys to like subscribe, subscribe share our channel oh. there we go there we go guys See?